Hi, my name is Margaret and I'll be taking you through my Kaggle ex, uh, project journey. Um, to give an overview of um, myself, I'm, a research, I'm currently a research assistant in the health sector and my aspiration is to pivot into data science. Uh, with, the pro, with the program, I have learned a lot. I've perfected my coding skills and also ability to uh, start and uh, from start to end of a competition like in Cargo and Zindi. So my project was on carbon emission. And just a brief summary is that uh, we are trying to understand uh, the various aspects of climate change with CO2 emission being the major contributor of it. And in this, we are trying to understand from the data is the biggest emitters and relationship between other fossil fuels into CO2. And also trying to see how we can try, how we can improve, how we can improve to minimize the CO2 emission overall per country and as a globe. The problems for the problem statement, um, as I've said, uh, CO2 is the biggest contributor in climate change crisis and the ability to minimize that can help overall and can have a ripple effect overall in and actually eliminating climate change crisis. Uh, so some of the research areas are over I was looking at is the overview of different per capita emissions in different countries, the trends, uh, uh, relationship between fossil fuels with each other and also in CO2 emission, and also interactive map to show where we were before and where we are now as a group. So from the data, the data was obtained in Cargo. Um, there was a lot of cleaning to be done in it. Uh, and from there, after cleaning, I went ahead and did EDA and part of modeling. And I aspire to do deployment after after the project, after the program ends. So as an overall trend of CO2 emission, there has been a steady increase. And with research has shown that there's a 90% increase over time of CO2 emission, which can be clearly interpolated from this graph showing that indeed there has been an increase and there's a um, there's a biggest scape of it in gas um coal oil and cement and other fraying uh, productions uh if we were to compare pre if we were to compare co2 with other fossil fuels you can see the biggest denominator is gas and from this we know the co2 itself is a gas and it's produced in all these fossil fuels as they are being produced so a way to uh, a way to try and eliminate this co2 or try to neutralize it into the environment can be a very good step toward uh, towards um, a big a better step in, in dealing with the climate change crisis contributed by co2 emission some of the biggest emitters of co2 are china US and um, India, Russia, Japan. Uh, if we were to look at overall, uh, this is a map of 2015. We can see there's a higher, con uh, the darker blue means the highest emitters. You can see there's Russia, there's US, uh, there's India, there's Japan. These are the biggest, the, they are the biggest emitters they are mapped as the biggest emitter as we were to, and if we were to compare this graph with our graph in 2021 you can see they're still the biggest emitter but there's introduction of some countries in africa there's also some darkening happening in south america and also in europe uh, so um uh, in modeling i did um the aim the aim was to try to get the model with the biggest uh, the lowest RMSC, since the target variable is the per capita, uh, per capita variable, and it was it was a continuous. So the modeling had to be a regression model, and from comparison, uh, the best model the best model from this was gradient boosting with um, 2.03 MSC. So in here, I can conclude that gas production is the highest producer of CO2, followed by oil, flaring object, and coal. There's an overall steady increase in CO2 emission over time, and the biggest contributor of 
CO2 emissions are China, US, India, Russia, and Japan. And from their data, the best model that I would de deploy is the gradient boosting model. Some recommendation is to switch to renewable en energy, which can help in, re in reduce CO2 emission. Implementation of carbon tax, uh, uh, planting trees, since we know there's a lot of deforestation that are taking place in more trees will consume CO2 and give us oxygen, which will help in clearing the air. Thank you.